Joining me now, Republican Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio, who serves in the House Judiciary Committee. Um, your colleague, uh, Mr. Gomert, had some more to say. I just want to play you a little more about what he had to say about Mueller and get your reaction. Take a listen. We know now for sure there is no collusion between this administration and Russia. Let's at least stop that facade. Let's well, stop that what, distraction. Well, Louis, get what, rid of Mueller. Well, what about he is the, dirty. He created all kinds of problems. He is dirty. Do you think Bob Mueller is dirty? Look, uh, Chris, that's one member of Congress. Here's what I do know. Uh, all kinds of Republicans, all kinds of Democrats wanted Jim Comey to go. Republicans didn't like what he said in, uh, in July of last year. You Democrats didn't like what he said in October. I actually criticized both times. Mm -hmm. I criticized him in July, and I, I took some heat for it when I did that in October. I thought he messed the whole investigation up. So lots of people are calling for Jim Comey to go, and I think based on what we saw from him last week, we now know why. He leaked information to the New York Times wait a second. to protect himself. Wait a second. But, uh, he just, did. Okay, to, but to, to, create, to create this this push for a special counsel, and it actually is now what, it, what we have. Wait, so, so but, but, but to get back, the, the, the question at issue is not James Comey, who's been fired. There's nothing anyone can do about that. James Comey's gone. Uh, the person who does occupy a position of authority is Robert Mueller, who's the special counsel appointed by the deputy attorney general. There are a lot of folks, uh, conservatives and Republicans, saying that Mueller has to go, that they don't trust him, that he's dirty. A Chris, guy who's been appointed been, by the last... I think three Republican been, presidents, and I'm just curious whether I'm, you agree. Do you, do you believe in his integrity? I think there's been one member of Congress call for that, so that's, that's one member's uh, view. Uh, look, I understand Mr. Mueller's reputation. I will tell you this, the one interaction I had with him was pretty disappointing, and it happened four years ago, five weeks after the targeting at the IRS was discovered and proven to be actually happening. Mr. Mueller was in front of the Judiciary Committee, and I asked him three simple questions. Who's the lead agent on the case? How many agents have you assigned? Have you talked to any of the victims? And his answers were, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Not real impressive when that was the key issue so in the you, country at that time. So all I know is my one interaction with Bob Mueller wasn't too encouraging. Yeah, of course. I mean, he's the FBI right. director. It's the number one story in the country. The president and then Attorney General Could Holder I, said they're going to do a criminal investigation. And the head of the FBI doesn't know anything about the ask, case after it's been there five weeks. Let me ask that you this. That should cause people to be concerned. You're talking about the, 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 the IRS case. And I know that you're on the Benghazi Committee and there are lots of Questions is sort of getting to the bottom sure. of that, which is, you know, the, the, the constitutional role of the United States Congress. Um, do you think that you, to your satisfaction, understand fundamentally what happened with Russia, what they did, and why it's the case that three associates of the president have not told, given truthful answers about their meetings with Russian officials under penalty of perjury? What I know is what Jim Comey said last week, and he confirmed what the president has said. Three different times that Mr. that Mr. Comey told the president he wasn't under investigation. Mr. Comey confirmed that last week. Right. What he also confirmed last week is never has the president of the United States, President Trump, been under investigation. But Secretary Clinton was under investigation. And James Comey, let me finish. James Comey misled the American people at the direction of then Attorney General he, Lynch. He, he, he said it's not a criminal right. investigation. So, he was told to say it was a I matter. So he misled the American people so, in that investigation, a real investigation. I, and I, then with Mr. Trump, he allowed the perception to be that okay. the president was under investigation when he wasn't. So he misled the American have, people twice. I, I got that. I asked you a question. There are three associates of the president of the United States. One of them is the Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He said under oath he had not met with the Russian officials. That was not true. Um, uh, Michael Flynn, who was appointed to be national security advisor, and Mr. Sessions has corrected that. He apparently told FBI investigators, which is a big deal, that he uh, that he had not had conversations about sanctions with Sergey Kislyak. That's not true. There's a criminal investigation pending on that. And Jared Kushner said on his security clearance. Forum under penalty of perjury says it right at the top. I'm sure you've seen that form that he did to not omit meetings. He omitted a secret meeting with Sergey Kislyak. Three associates of the president under penalty of perjury have not told the truth about meetings with Russian officials. Do you understand why Mr. that's the case? Why did that happen? Mr. Uh, Mr. Sessions has corrected the record. That Mr. was a mistake. F Mr. Flynn has been fired, right? So, but you don't understand you, why he you, did that. Why did you, he tell that deception? No, well, we have an investigation going okay. on, Chris, but all I know is so far what's come out has proven that the president has been right all along and that he wasn't under investigation. Right, but, what he said has been has been proven true but I'm just all asking, along based on Mr. Comey's testimony you, last I, week. I get that, and I, I'm, I'm not saying the president's under investigation. I'd take Jim Comey as his word. I'm just saying, for those of us watching this, right, it is Mr. kind Comey, of... Mr. Comey allowed the perception sir, to exist that he was under investigation when he wasn't. Congressman, he also for those of us told watching the country this, that it was a matter when Secretary Clinton was actually under investigation. Congressman, That's kind for, of those of important. Us, for those of us watching this, we're just trying to figure this out. It doesn't strike you as weird that three people close to the president of the United States under penalty of perjury gave misleading or false answers about meeting with Russian officials? That's not strange to you? 
Well, we're going to get to we'll get the answers to that. You, but you that's not weird to you. Counsel. That doesn't pique your, your as a man who's overseen investigations, who sat on the Benghazi committee, who looked over the IRS, who looked at fact patterns and said, "Huh, something doesn't add up here." When Barack Obama was president, you see that and you say to yourself, "Man, I don't know." No, no. I, I, look, I want to get the answers. I think the American people want to get the answers, but we we want the full truth. We want the full story. Agreed. We weren't getting that. We started to get some of that last week when we learn about the secret memo that Mr. Or, or excuse me, when we learn about the, the conversations that were only memorialized relative to President Trump. None of those other important conversations that happened under Mr. Right. Comey's tenure. The, the day they made the decision to give Cheryl Mills immunity, did he, did he memorialize conversations with key Justice Department officials on that day? Right. I don't think so. He said he did it. So I want the full picture. Context matters. The full story I, matters. That's, could, what we, that's what we're trying I to get. Could not, I could not agree more on that, on that point. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching. MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.